I'm here with the Fourth Rivers Trust doing a giant hogweed treatment on the banks of Leven. This is giant hogweed. Um, it's one of our non-native invasive species, um, alongside species like Japanese knotweed, uh, Himalayan balsam. Um, so there's two different types of hogweed in the UK. Um, so we've got our giant hogweed here, and we've got oh, we've also got a native hogweed um, as well. Um, so as you can tell by the name, the giant hogweed is a massive plant. It can grow up to five meters in height. Um, the native hogweed is a lot smaller. And the main differences are obviously the size, uh, the type of leaves. So the giant hogweed leaves are much spikier than native hogweed um, and the stem as well. So the giant hogweed has red blotches on its stem and the native hogweed just has a green stem. Giant hogweed is, is an invasive plant um, and we treat it because it can outshade native vegetation, especially on riverbanks where native vegetation is crucial to hold together the soil on a riverbank. Um, giant hogweed can stop native vegetation from growing, meaning that the riverbanks are less stable. We wear protective equipment um, such as a suit. We wear wellies and we wear gloves and we wear a visor as well when we're taking care of giant hogweed because it does also pose a health risk. So sap within the stock of giant hogweed can actually burn your skin. It's a photosensitive chemical within the sap that causes blisters and third degree burns on your skin. We treat giant hogweed um, by spraying it um, with a glyphosate mixture. It's a long-term treatment. Seeds can remain in the ground for a very long time and the seed head on the giant hogweed can carry up to 50,000 seeds. Um, so we need a long-term treatment to to take care of giant hogweed.